My name is Alex Kirby. I'm a psychologist. I'm also the executive director of Monfort Hall. And this video is going to be the first in a series of videos on substance abuse in the adolescent brain. Um, in this particular video, I want to talk about um, what it is that constitutes a disease as the foundation for discussion about addiction and then addiction as it applies to the adolescent. Um, and it, the disease was defined um, by physicians, at least in Western medicine, about well, 110 years ago or so. Um, and I think you'll find it to be a startling, startlingly simple uh, definition. Um, it basically uh, has, it consists of three components. Um, it, it, it's an organ that gets a defect that manifests some kinds of symptoms. And uh, despite its simplicity in the 110 or 15 years now that uh, that model has been used, um, human life expectancy has doubled. Um, and with some variance across the world, and of course the strongest correlation with, with increased life expectancy is access to good medical care. So it's a very powerful model. It's made a huge difference in terms of people's well-being and their ability to live longer, healthier lives. And yet it boils down to those three things, an organ that gets a defect that manifests symptoms. Um, an example that is, uh, again, uh, counterintuitive and yet still represents a disease would, would be a cutting, cutting your skin. I mean, your skin is the largest organ in your body. A cut would be a defect to it, and one of the symptoms of a cut would be it bleeds. Um, we don't think of it as a disease, I and mean, we don't think, you know, the last time I got a paper cut, I got a disease, but in fact, uh, as defined by Western medicine, that in fact is exactly what it is. It's easily treated, it cures, it goes away, you know, in a day or two, whatever, but it in fact is a disease. Um, another example that may be a little less intuitive would be a broken bone. Um, our bones are organs, um, and when they break, they hurt, and so we've got an organ, a bone, uh, that gets a defect, a fracture, or can uh, uh, vary by degree, but it's, it's broken, and it invariably hurts. Uh, and that's one of the symptoms. There could be others, depending on where the break is, what bone it is, it could definitely hurt, uh, as well as be life-threatening or potentially causing arthritis, and there's all kinds of other things. But uh, it's very, very simple, and yet um, the ability to apply that, uh, those three things systematically uh, in treating patients has proven to be incredibly powerful. Uh, in helping physicians and uh, whoever medi the medical community help its patients. Um, until very, very recently, addiction was never considered a disease, um, primarily because there was so little known about the organ in question, which is the brain. Um, and it's only been in the last 15 to 20 years that imaging technology has reached the point where we can actually identify what part, what organ is getting a defect that manifests the symptoms that we know of as uh, the behavior of an addict. Um, and I think that's probably, uh, it, 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 is, it, it is overwhelmingly a disease at this point. There's no debate within the medical community about whether addiction is a disease or not. Uh, it's one of the very few diseases where you can actually watch the disease process in real time through a functional MRI. You can actually induce a craving state and watch uh, brain functioning be altered simply by putting uh, visual stimulus in front of an addict, a drug. You can actually watch the brain chemistry change and the brain functioning change in real time. Um, so it's no longer a debate uh, whether it's a disease or not. Um, it's, and it continues even though there is still much confusion about it because one of the primary symptoms of addiction is behavior. And it's very, very hard for people to appreciate behavior, something you actually do, like if I steal money out of your wallet, um, it's very hard to interpret that or see that as somehow symptomatic of a disease, but in fact, it's exactly what it is. And in future installments, uh, future videos, I'll describe to you how that mechanism actually works. Um, so I hope you'll join us for those future videos, but I wanted to leave you just now with something to think about, which is what is a disease? It's nothing more than an organ that gets a defect and manifests in symptoms. Um, and those symptoms can be behavior, things you actually do, not just the symptoms that we think of as medical, which might be low blood sugar for the diabetic or um, um, you know, clogged arteries for somebody with coronary disease. So I hope you join us for future videos and I hope you found this informative.